So after one of the best wins of his short coaching career, Justin Longmuir joins us from Cairns. Justin, good evening. They were great scenes after the match. Lots of hugs and smiles. You must be delighted at the moment. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a hard-fought hard win, um, especially in those conditions. It was a bit of a slog, so uh, really really pleased with the way the players fought it out to the end and I'm um, really pleased that they um, they got over the line. It's been a tough schedule. That was our third game in 10 days, so it was good to get some reward for effort. You've had to wait a long time for your first win. Now, we had the narrow loss in round one and then the long delay before footy got started again. Now you've got six wins. You must be pretty happy. Yeah, I'm happy with the way we're progressing as a team. Um, I think we've, you know, blooded some youth and um, there's mixed mixed in with some seniority in there and some experience that are leading the players really well. So, um, you know, as a coach, sometimes you're looking for areas to improve on and you're probably looking for the ones that, at the ones that got away, but you know, we're progressing reasonably well, so happy. I bet you are. I see Jonathan Brown has got you penciled in as coach of the year. That's nice. God, oh, yeah, those comments are humbling, but to be honest, it's a little bit over the top. I mean, there's some coaches in the league that have got their teams in um, really good position to, for a tilt of the premiership. So, um, yeah, it's, it's nice to hear, but I, I think it's a bit over the top, Baz. OK, fair enough. Uh, well answered. Adam Chera, what a magnificent goal, and, gee, that must have been just about his best game. Yeah, fantastic effort. No, I'm really pleased with his last quarter. I think he had 11 possessions and kicked that goal in the last quarter. So to stand up when the game's on the line, it's a great attribute to have. I'm pleased we've got you tonight. An opportunity for us all to clear up uh, the Michael Walters saga, if you like. There's been speculation that he might want to leave the club. What do you say about that? Well, to be honest, from my dealings with Michael um, over the last week and, and all year, I, I don't think that could be further from the truth. Um, you know, he's, he's as passionate a Fremantle person as I, I know and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll have a, um, you know, long career at the footy club. Six wins for the season, a great win last night, another crack on Saturday against North Melbourne. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Basil.